the Steam Sale is going on right now. The Spring Steam Sale. A lot of awesome games. So if you play on PC, you use Steam, there's a lot of games on sale. Go and check them out. There's a ton of really cool ones. This one is relatively new. I think it's like a week old. It's called Backpack Battles. You can play as multiple different characters. Each one has their own special ability. Some specialize in healing, some specialize in critical hits. It's an auto battler, so each of your components go into a backpack and you use them as your character in order to fight someone else's character. A lot like super auto pets, <laughs> whatever. Super auto pets, I think. But today we're going to be the most adorable reaper with some carry on luggage, I guess. <laughs> they specialize in damage over time. That's what I'm going to try to build around. This is my first real look at the game, but I know the basics of it. I have a backpack, I buy things, put things in backpack, eventually some awesome stuff happens. It worked! Cool! So I'm thinking enough debuff with this character might be good. So I'm just gonna have to store everything in my carry-on luggage. So the more pocket sand I have, the more blindness they get, which decreases their accuracy. Every time they miss, the broom gets increased damage. We're already buffing it with the wet stone. I don't understand. So it looks like they're stars, if I'm understanding this right. If I put a weapon in a starred area, it gains one damage. So we know that the mushroom does not work as a weapon, but we do know that the wet stone actually counts as a start of battle and the pig synergizes with the wet stone, which synergizes with the broom. Now, I think I can add on more backpacks, so let's re-roll to see. Yes, here, a fanny pack. Adds two backpack slots, and items inside of it trigger faster. So this should actually go faster than the five seconds, then? If I'm understanding that right? I don't know if we're going to win this one. Ooh, they have a broom, too. And a lot of armor. Even though we put on some armor from our garlic, and we have poison going from our mushroom... We haven't even done any damage yet. Oh, fatigue sets in. Oh, so when the battle goes on for a long period of time, it looks like we take damage over. How did we win? What happened that we won? Did our debuffs finally just all kick in? Ooh, that's shiny and beautiful. Let's get rid of the broom. It takes up a lot of inventory space anyway. And I'll put in the sword, which is definitely a lot better. That, and it's purple. It's epic. I like purple epic. I don't think the pig's helping us anymore. So I'm going to get rid of the pig and try to get away from that. I'm keeping the pocket sand only because... Whoa, this is weird. So they're the pyromancer. They do fire damage. How were they? How did they blind me? Maybe if I just put in a bunch of pocket sand, I could get it where they just can't hit me anymore. We're winning, but barely. Cool. That works. The deck of cards. Playing cards are offered in the shop. I don't... It's an accessory, and I don't know what it does. It takes up two backpack slots, too. I guess I'll just stack this backpack on top of this backpack. So our carry-on luggage is actually getting a lot bigger. A reverse card? Gotta think about this. So it looks like the deck of cards are going to be the way I'm gonna go now, I think. Can I stack this here and it does something? Does it interact? It does does interact so i think i need to get all of the cards all focused around this deck of cards if i'm going to do this correctly i'm also putting in a lot of poison and the hungry blade is giving me some vampirism so i can regenerate i don't know a little bit of my health not a lot of it so we are stacking a lot of poison so i don't think we actually do a lot of damage until all of our debuffs start stacking up which tells me that i should actually probably have built this to be a tank and then we just start stacking poison the longer we can survive the better and fatigue will eventually hit them and the fatigue goes up so there's a there's a ton of strategy to this so i'm gonna get the ace of spades that's gonna give us a, a crit and if i'm understanding this right each card will be played in order based on what order they are attached. That's really cool. That is a really awesome mechanic, actually. Okay, so if I'm understanding this correctly, that means it'll go from the deck of cards, reveal the reverse card, which will give me something from them, which will then trigger the ace. And since there's one card before it, 
That means it's odd, and we get two luck, and they gain spikes, which means they get dealt damage. And we have one melee weapon to trigger that damage. I think, in theory, this should be way better than what we were doing before. If I had the other fanny pack, I would also put in my potion. What are they doing? It's always interesting to see what kind of builds that they do, because some of their builds are super interesting and they're synergies I would have never thought about trying to do. So far, we're winning. It's doing okay. So I did a little bit of rearranging and I think I got everything fit in here better. We're still using one pocket stand because we need the blind in order for one of our other effects. I can't remember which one. Uh, but I was also told by our little something, our little mythical creature here, I was also told by them that we have a few items that are going to fuse. So it looks like our fly agaric is going to go into our pestilence flask to make it better. And our dagger is be going to become a poison dagger, I think. So this game even has more twists and turns I was unaware of. And I have the gloves in storage right now only because, whoa, that's a big build. Uh, only because I can't fit them right now and I don't know what else to get rid of. Because I need more room. Wow, they've got so much. Uh, as far as like shield, they had that weird potion that they drank. I don't know how we, it must be our debuffs that are doing most of our damage. Because when I'm looking at this, ooh, subclass? What, what do you mean subclass? There's subclasses for these two? Oh, there it went. Oh, that's the strong pestilence blast. Oh, I'm Hexblade. This is the Hexblade Reaper, the Venomancer Reaper. Vi so this is the subclass item. That's what it meant by I unlocked the subclass. I'm learning now. You know what? Let's do it because we have so many debuffs going out right now. I I just I'm going to buy Mr. Struggle there. That may or may not have been a good idea, but I won. So I got it. What is this? It's the White Eyes Blue Dragon. Unreveal gain 12 armor plus six armor for each card before it and inflict three cold damage. I dare say I most certainly do want that, and I'm gonna buy this because it's an extra bag. It's the protective purse. Now I need to figure out how to organize my cards in order to use copyright free White Eyes Blue Dragon. <laughs> That's Mrs. Struggles. We have to get Mrs. Struggles for Mr. Struggles. That's the only way that the Struggle family is going to be together again. No! Because I want my card and I want... Okay, fine. I'm getting Mrs. Struggles. I really don't know what I'm doing anymore. Uh, Demonic Flask. Opponent drops below 50%. Consume this and deal 0.35 damage for each debuff of your opponent. So when they drop below 50%, we can just outright kill them with our Demonic Flask because of all the debuffs we stack on them. I wasn't able to get Mrs. Struggles in there, but I was able to get my awesome ocean in there, the demonic flask. I'm hoping that will be the game changer. If not, I'll swap that out for Mrs. Struggles and the Struggle family can be back together. Ooh, they've got this crazy build. This is a lot of poison is going on over here, right? Oh, but they don't have anything that can remove buffs or debuffs. <laughs> I do. <laughs> nice. So I was able to out debuff them. That was basically the same build as mine, except... <gasps> is that a... A holo fire lizard? That's a holo fire lizard! <laughs> it's worth a, a half a million dollars! I love this. The humor in this is absolutely amazing. I wasn't even looking at this game for humor. Whoa, what's going on over here? There's a lot of fire and a lot of... I don't know, a lot of damage going out. They even have some healing and some chili pepper. I'm hoping I can buff and debuff them a lot faster because of the struggle family struggle family help me please oh it was really close actually that's a pretty good build that's a lot of fire going on and they specialize in fire so that makes sense i can actually make mrs struggle go faster with that and i can put this in and they'll turn into vampiric glove we're finding all sorts of recipes found the poison dagger, we found the strong pestilence flask, and now we're going to have the vampiric gloves. I want to re-roll and see if I can get myself another bag. No, but I did find this. 
corrupted crystal. It's a weapon socket. And there's also armor socket too. If I could actually slot that into my hungry blade, I don't know if it will form anything new, but I know I'll be doing at least a little bit more damage than I currently am. The, oh, darkest lotus. <laughs> oh, it gives three mana? You're kidding. Oh my God, that's awesome. Oh, I love this game now. I wasn't sure about it, but I love it. For friendship and money. <laughs> I agree, I think. Please flip the cards. I need as much of all of the debuffs and buffs I can get. Because I, it looks like I'm against someone who's stacking shovels. Oh, I see what they're doing. They did what I had originally thought to do, which is make something that heals and tanks, and then just put a couple debuffs on there. Oh, that was the last round anyway. No, let's do start survival mode, and all I have to do is survive 18 rounds. Because that's 10, right? So, oh no, that was 12. Because I just have six left. Let's do it. Let's try. Use wisely. I don't know what happens if I lose now, but... Whoa. Vampiric Club. That is like a godly uh, accessory, I guess. Not really a weapon. Yeah, it is. It's a godly weapon. Or accessory. Wait. This triggers off of that? Oh, no. I just have to get it close to this. So that means I'm going to have to rework all of this because I want those really close to one another. That'll be okay. I can move this all around now. Okay, so this is just temporary right now, but I have my mess sort of figured out. Uh, and the reason why it's temporary is because this demonic flask only needs to be close to this to fuse, and then I can move things around again. Uh, and then this coal is actually going to be lit on fire too, but everything else is all going to trigger the same that it did before. Wow, that is a lot of defense. Let's see, Can is there any way for me to actually heal through any of this? No, because they just put on so much armor. Wow, everything they've got is just armor. <laughs> There's just no way of doing any damage to that. Wow, they have a lot of luck and vampirism. They're going to be stunning me, and they're going to be doing critical hits. I don't know if I'll be able to buff and debuff and get through this, but it looks promising so far. Awesome, so we're able to do way more damage, and de we have 33 different poison debuffs that we're stacking now. Oh, all we need to do is survive four more rounds. Hopefully, for friendship and money, <laughs> this is gonna go well. There is added vampirism, there's all sorts of buffs. Ooh, they went the Venomancer route. Oh, but our poison is just, oh, what happened? Oh, suddenly, oh, as soon as we drop below 50%, all of their potions kicked in. That's how we lost. So they just have to stack up and wait, which means I'm buying another potion. That's for sure. And we've added a little bit of, I don't know, everything. And I was finally able to get everything in here. So let's see how this goes. The last one didn't go so well. Hopefully this one goes a little bit better. We have a little bit more stamina. Ooh, we're fire fighting a pyromancer. They're going to want to try to burn us. But I think with all of our armor, we're going to hold up okay. Because all they're doing is really healing and hitting us with all their pets. They got a nice, really cool dragon. Our, our stamina is doing really well. Their stamina is doing really well. Ooh, they're regening. Oh, man, that was probably just luck. But I think what happens is as soon as they hit 50%, all of our potions go crazy. And that's how we're ended up winning. Whoa, look at all this food. <laughs> what are they doing? Is this an actual way to win? Oh, they deep off. Oh, every food is giving us a stack of poison. No, we're supposed to be the one that stacks poison. Not, wow, they're chunking so much poison. Oh my God. Yes, I definitely want to build this somehow. All the food all synergizes with each other and then it goes to whatever this is. I want that. I think all we have to do is survive, which we have an extra life to give anyway, so I think we're okay. But I would like to win in some of these higher levels. It doesn't look like it's doable though because everyone's got these crazy builds and that's what I was going for eventually is one of those. Because I bought the heart for that reason. Can I stack somehow, please? Son of a gun! Our buff is just not good. Round lost. 
That didn't go well, but we got a survival bonus because all we had to do was survive. And one try left. So that works. 22 trophies. But that's basically the gist of this game. It's awesome. So fun. There's all sorts of different combinations. And we saw at the end there, there were some crazy combos with all of these things that people were able to create. So thank you so much for watching this one. And remember to take care. And goodbye!